If there was a Mount Rushmore for the 9-11 community, Joseph Droga would be one of them on in that. Joseph Droga's death, a devastating blow to fellow 9-11 advocates so, like John Feel. My heart bleeds. My soul is crushed. Zadroga was a tireless champion for 9-11 first responders and their families. He was hit and killed by a car Saturday in the parking lot of a rehabilitation center in Galloway, New Jersey, near Atlantic City. He was there visiting his wife, Linda. That's when, according to police, an 82-year-old driver accelerated while pulling into a parking space, pinning Zadroga under his car. You know, in the 9-11 community, we're all looking over our shoulder every day. When am I going to get 9-11 cancer? But in the real world, people die from getting hit by a car. Joe Zadroga fought to extend health benefits for first responders. His son James was an NYPD officer who died from a respiratory illness five years after 9-11 and became the namesake of the James Zadroga 9-11 Health and Compensation Act. Former Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney sponsored the legislation and wrote on X that Zadroga became a warrior for the bill, attending every last press event and gathering we sponsored. Mayor Adams also expressing his condolences, writing, Joe Zadroga never gave up the fight for his son James and all of our 9-11 first responders. This is a tragic loss of a true hero. John Field would agree. Joe's passing is devastating, but our work continues tomorrow. We still have to advocate, and um, we'll just leave a seat empty when we go to those meetings, and um, it will be reserved for Joe.